Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking or network unlocking of a device so that it can be used with a different compatible wireless carrier. Here with us today we have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite. So it's an Android tablet made by Samsung. And this device is originally from AT&T here in the US. And this is a device that has not yet been network unlocked because we have a different SIM card inserted here and we can see that the device is asking us for a network unlock code. And then if we go ahead and dismiss that, we also have another notification up here in the status bar that says that it's an invalid SIM card and that it is network locked. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves uh, wanted to change carriers away from AT&T before satisfying all of AT&T's requirements to do the network unlock for them, or unfortunately also a lot of times these days someone will purchase a used device from someone on the internet who turns out to be a scammer. So in that case the seller usually either claims that the device is already unlocked or that it's already eligible to be unlocked and they just have to contact the original carrier to have it done, or whatever the case may be. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovers that's actually not true, that the device is still locked, and that they're not able to get it unlocked. So pretty much all of the devices sold directly by wireless carriers here in the US will come with some sort of network lock enabled, and the carrier will do the unlock for you if you meet all of their requirements. And therein lies the big catch, because pretty much all carriers have a list of requirements that have to be met in order for them to be able to do it for you, like the device has to be fully paid off and out of contract and you not owe any money on it, and you have to have used it with them for a certain period of days, weeks, months, whatever the case may be, and the list goes on and on and on. So we're here making this video today to show any interested customers that our business does offer a service to be able to get this model network unlocked without having to go directly through AT&T and satisfy all of their various requirements. The procedure that we do is done directly to the device while it's plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast and stable internet connection and we can connect directly to your computer through the internet remotely to perform the exact same procedure that we're doing here right now. So actually before starting the video, we had already done 99% of the work necessary to do the network unlock. We just left it in place right before the last step so that you could all see that it was indeed still locked to know that we're not tricking anyone, we're not trying to scam anyone here, and that we can actually do it. Now, now that that part has been done, we're just waiting on the last step to finish up here. And then after the device reboots, we should be able to see that we can indeed get, um, maybe not signal because that's actually not an activated SIM card that we have in there, but we will no longer be seeing those network lock messages that we saw before. So just hold on here while the last step finishes up. Okay, so the tablet has now been fully rebooted and we should be all set to go. We will notice, of course, that now we don't have that network locked message showing up on the screen where it was asking for the unlock code before. And then if we go ahead and slide down the notification panel, we should also see, yep, that there is no invalid SIM message there. And it was up there, there we go. It is actually showing T-Mobile as the name of the network because that is the SIM card that we have inserted here. So the device has now been fully and totally SIM and network unlocked and it's usable with other compatible wireless carriers. Just to show you exactly what we are working with here, we're gonna go ahead and pop down into the settings to see the model information. So when we go under about tablet, 
we can indeed see that we have a tab A7 light, and then that model number there, once my focus cooperates, the T227U, that's the model number of pretty much all of the cellular and carrier versions of the tab A7 light that are sold here in the US. So if you have one of these devices from AT&T and need help getting a network unlocked, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information can be found right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our info there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.